You clearly have a chip on your shoulder. Do you sincerely, at the, at the core of your soul, believe that your mother has no concern for you? No, I do believe she has concern for me. And do you really believe she's just here as an attention-getting stunt? About 80% of it. I think it was exciting for her to get something to, I don't know, a way to call me out in front of more people or I don't make people feel more sorry for her because she's always the victim. What if? Oh. What if you're wrong? I think that would be amazing, but I also think it's really late in the game. Do you know that you're the one that said, and I said, you said, did you call Dr. Phil? And I said, yes, I did, because I'm scared for you. And you said, well, this will give me great exposure. I think it's you are the one that's loving this, not me. You are putting your life in danger. Right. If you look at the dangers that are associated mm -hmm. with prostitution, the workplace homicide rate is 51 times higher yeah. than normal. 51 times higher than normal. The mortality rate is 240 times higher. How many of those girls are transgender? Okay, transgender female sex workers, 45% currently are living in poverty, 72% yeah. are sexually assaulted in their lifetime in contrast to 44% who have not done sex work you're 16 times more likely to be living with HIV versus those who have never done sex work. Nine out of 10 report being harassed, attacked sexually, assaulted, or mistreated by police. There's times when you're so down on yourself, like, and everyone's criticizing you so much. You're scared to go into that building, you know, where the owner tells you, oh no, we can't hire you. Or you're scared to make certain ways so when you have a friend tell you, you're tired of like being homeless, you're tired of being broke, you're tired of not being able to like go have somewhere to stay for the night of Look, your I've own bed. Look, I've been doing this for 45 years. Yeah. Don't tell me you can't get legitimate work. I can, I've you had can legitimate You can work, work remotely as in computer sciences, mm -hmm. you can work as a telemarketer, making people's lives miserable. Right. You, can do, <laughs> you can do all manner of stuff. You don't have to work where you face judgment in the workplace and by narrow-minded people. So I reached out to my sister to tell her I don't want to do this anymore. And right now, I'm currently not doing it anymore, especially since like certain websites and stuff were closed. Like, I stopped. I haven't been doing it. Um, probably the last like week and a half, I have, two weeks, I haven't wow. had to do it at all. And it's, that's because of me. That's because I'm scared. I, everyone can judge me. Everyone can say, oh, she's a mess, she's a prostitute, she's a tranny, she's gross. I felt all those feelings about myself and I've had to deal with it. But I also was doing what I thought at the time was right to make money to survive at the time. Look, the only thing I'm judging is your attitude. The fact that you are transitioning does not give you a right to check out a life, sit on the sidelines, be socially irresponsible, put your life in danger, or be rude to your family because they're not in the same place you are. Yeah, right. That doesn't mean that you all of a sudden get a pass on everything. The fact that your grandmother over here isn't as progressive as you are in your thinking doesn't mean that you have the right to be disrespectful to her. Right. I mean, she may not be where you are, but, I mean...